all right youtube what is up it is day 11 of 75 hard um, and I'm getting this video in towards the end of my day today, but I still have to do um, the second workout, finish a gallon of water, and take a progress picture. Everything else is done though. Worked out this morning with the gym, ran, um, read my pages, went to the beach today with the kids, which was a fantastic day, um, and then stayed on my macros, and that's really the major, the points of it all for me, at least, so, and obviously no alcohol. But it's been a, so it's been a great day today, a really awesome day. This past weekend, um, Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday, we were at the uh, at the lake all day. Two major things for that one, and then I was at my buddy uh, Anthony Champion's um, party on Saturday. So another party, another opportunity that was very tempting to um, you know break from the program. But at this point, I'm kind of at a point in my mindset where it's like I've made it this far. It's really I really don't want to go back to day one, and I'm really committed to getting all the way through it. So it's like it's getting a little easier easier to deal with the temptations because um, the goal outweighs um, you know the immediate satisfaction of having something crappy to eat or drinking or you know get skipping a workout or something like that I'd much rather see myself finish all of this than um, kind of have something that I want in the moment to just make myself feel better but that doesn't mean it's not tempting um, extremely tempted to have a s'more um, when I was out camping with the kids this weekend. Extremely tempted. It's one of my favorite desserts to have. Again, two weekends in a row, and my fate one of my favorite desserts to have. Um, and then, obviously, when I was out at my buddy's house, just you know, everybody's drinking, everybody's having a good time. Um, but again, it's not the drinking that's getting me or really challenging me. It's the um, the resisting you know junk food sweet stuff i really love sweet stuff and at that party i swear to god the spread had it was huge it was an amazing party so champ if you're watching this awesome party dude loved it so glad that i showed up and came i made an appearance short for a little bit um but i swear it had to be like 70 percent like desserts and sweet stuff and good stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, I want this. And I had to stick to, you know, just eating the regular stuff. And But still, the other food was still really, really, really good. So I still got something good out of it. Didn't drink. And it was a little easier to not drink. I had a lot more fun than I did at the last party. Not that the last party was bad, but uh, I wasn't too concerned about what other people were thinking of me or anything like that. So it was a little smoother this weekend for that party. Uh, and then Sunday was just a very chill day, chilled with, uh, finished up at the lake, and then had fun, and then just hung out with the kids at night, you know, played some Switch, kept my mind busy, got my reading done. That was the hard part about Sunday, finishing the reading. And then today has just been kind of just maintaining the routine, back into the business. The weekdays aren't so bad, the weekends are really challenging though. But I know it's all worth it. Um, I'm starting to get past that little tiredness spell that I was having last week. Who knows how I'll feel at the end of this week, but um, how I'm feeling right now with it all, it's nice to be very clear-minded without the alcohol or the marijuana in me. That's really nice to kind of have that clear mind. Um, I've been dropping weight like crazy. I've had a lot of people uh, say things about how you know good I look and like how much how much weight I've lost I've dropped probably like I don't know since the start of 75 hard but um, in the past few months because of running and this diet in 75 hard I've went from like 175 pretty consistently to I weighed myself on Friday and that was 161 so I dropped about 15 pounds from all of this and so it does feel nice to look pretty good so I'm happy about that too um, and then everybody else, I'm sure they're having some serious progress. My friend Audrey is just looks fantastic right now. She's been dropping weight like crazy because she's been running and doing this program and it's been paying off. So good for her. I'm proud of her and proud of everybody else in this group for sticking to it. Um, we have had a few people want to drop for, it's interesting, it's consistently the same reason. It's the, the thoughts and the mindsets that are drawn out of you when you're putting yourself through this challenge when you're telling yourself no i can't have this i need to do this holding yourself accountable to something it kind of creates a lot of people are having negative mindsets come up and they don't like that feeling which is understandable like i get that i talked about this last week it's gonna bring something out of you when you challenge yourself it brings something out of you and if you have unresolved stuff 
within you on mindsets, thing, unhealthy mindsets that you, you know, maybe you use, use something to cope with that mindset or those 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 thoughts and that those voices possibly, um, and you, you take those things away, yeah, they're gonna talk. They're gonna be loud. Um, but that's what this program is for. It's not to lose weight. It's not to, you know, get in shape. That's a side effect of it, but the real, point of this program is to develop mental toughness, to de develop resiliency, to learn that you have the control over yourself, the power over yourself. You just have to have the grit to get through it. And if you're not able to, you know, it is what it is. I'm not, it, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just a struggle. It's a, it's a struggle. So if you are trying this program and you keep failing or you keep hitting that wall, Maybe don't just keep trying to go at it and beat your head against the same wall and hoping you're gonna get different results. Take a step back, observe what it is that keeps coming up every time you try this um, or attempt it or try something different in your life. It doesn't have to be 75 hard, but notice what comes up when you start to take away the things that you enjoy and that you like and putting yourself through challenges. When things come up um, and, if, and there's usually a pattern with it all and a routine and a, you know, that pattern, take a look at that. Cause that's what's holding you back. It's not the, it's not the program. It's not the challenges that are holding you back. Those just bring it out of you. The things that are holding you back are already within your mindset. Um, just like with me, I know the things that hold me back have nothing to do with 75 hard or any of the challenges that I put myself through or anything outside of myself. All the things that hold me back are within myself already. And that's why I'm doing this program. Like if you go back to day one and day zero, that's why I'm doing it. I'm challenging those mindsets. I'm tired of them controlling me. I wanna be in control now. I wanna take ownership of my life. And this is how I'm doing it. This is just a program you put yourself through to do it. So if you're struggling, it's okay. It's understandable. Um, but take a step back. Think about these things, journal about it a little bit, meditate on them, um, think about them, really follow those breadcrumbs back, see where these thoughts come from. You know, it's okay to explore those thoughts. Don't just ignore them and think they'll go away. They're gonna stay there with you. And when you go through shitty things in your life and challenging things in your life, they're gonna come back up, okay? So until you learn to address it and meet it, they're gonna be in charge of you and you're not gonna be in charge of them, okay? so. It is what it is, but I believe in you. You anybody can do it. Anybody is capable of doing this shit. You just gotta you just gotta develop the grit. Develop it. Because it's for you. You're working for yourself. You're not working for anybody else. You're working for yourself. But other than that, that was a long one. Um, appreciate you for listening. I will see you guys tomorrow for day twelve. Um, and yeah, let's hope for a good day. Love you. See ya.